What's up folks? Welcome back to my uh, scary basement of 3D printing. Today we are upgrading the Ender 3 to, to this Hemera hot end. And actually that's not the tutorial that I'm making because there's a zillion tutorials out there for how to do it. In fact, I'm following those tutorials, so you don't need me to teach you how to do that. I upgraded the Ender 3 to the Hemera hot end, and after I did, I started having problems with printing. My Z-axis was binding, and it resulted in a bulge in this calibration cube, like you see here. Uh, and if you go and search for Ender 3 Z-axis binding, you'll find a whole bunch of tutorials that say that there is a problem with the position of this stepper motor that causes this lead screw to bind, and there are shims you can get that shim that out and fix that problem. My printer doesn't have that problem. Maybe it's because it's an Ender 3 Pro and maybe they fixed that problem or maybe I just got lucky. The actual reason that it's binding was surprising and kind of infuriating. And I'm gonna show it to you because I need to take this printer apart and fix it. I'm Joshua Bardwell, you're gonna learn something today. Before we get into today's video, I do wanna say the Ender 3 Pro has always been my least favorite 3D printer of the two printers that I have. The Sovol SV01, which is just out of frame over here, has been my workhorse. And that's why when it came time to upgrade one of these two printers, I upgraded the Ender because I didn't wanna risk taking the Sovol out of action and not being able to print. And then once I've got the Ender really dialed in with the new hot end, then I'll upgrade the Sovol. So if you have a Sovol SV01 and you're looking to upgrade to a much higher end hot end, I will be making a tutorial about that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when it finally comes out. But here's how I fixed this problem. And I did fix it. Huh? Here's how I fixed this problem on my Ender 3 Pro. The first thing that I did wrong was that I had this elliptical nut over here too tight. And the thing is, there's no Z, uh, Z axis lead screw on this side of the Ender 3 Pro. That's one of the advantages that the Sovol has is dual lead screws. Um, so what that means is that there's a little bit of play here in the Z axis, but this is too much play. And that's the annoying thing that we're gonna fix in this video. You can take a lot of that play out by tightening this elliptical nut down, but then it causes the Z-axis to bind and causes the problem that we're gonna solve. Now, you may say, well, if you just loosened that elliptical and you got decent printing results, why not just leave it at that? And the answer is that there's too much sag here in this X gantry. There's too much sag and it's causing it to slightly be off axis to the bed and causing things that should be square to be slightly slanted. And that's not ideal. The problem is that there are two screws behind here where the X gantry connects to this carriage. And those screws were either loose from the factory or they loosen up. There's actually a Creality tutorial that points this out, but it's not very clear on what they're doing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing apart we're gonna tighten those screws down and put it back together. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is take off the top of the Z gantry. I'm gonna remove these four screws from the top. Should probably unplug the machine. Not that we're gonna be turning it on, but I guess it's always a good idea. All right. So we'll take that top piece off and then we will raise up the X gantry and remove it from the aluminum extrusions. I don't think you should need to disconnect any cables or anything. The screws that we're gonna access are gonna be on the left side of the gantry. And uh, I think what I wanna do is just align the top of that little bracket, that carriage, with the extrusion so they're sort of flush and parallel with each other. I'm gonna guess that's how it's supposed to be. And then I'm gonna use this 2.5 millimeter driver to tighten those screws down. In fact, if I had some like blue Loctite, I might use that because I'm gonna guess they're gonna work loose again. But I don't have any blue Loctite. There we go, that's it. Oh, that's so much better. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this elliptical, but not too tight. Yeah, there's still some play there. I don't know if there's really anything you can do about that without uh, having a second uh, Z-axis lead screw, which of course is a mod that people do, but that's not what we're tackling today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish reassembling uh, this and then we'll run another print and we will see if I've made things better or worse. Yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, it's pretty square and there aren't any major defects in the Z-axis. It looks like I still need to tune my flow rate. And in fact, that's the next step in teaching tech's calibration guide. That's what I'm working through. I'll put a link to that down in the video description. Teaching tech is a great, great resource for 3D printing. And he has a basic set of calibration uh, steps anytime you've made a major change or are setting up a new printer. But that's gonna do it for this video. Definitely get subscribed if you wanna see me put this Hemera on my Sovol SV01, that is coming. And maybe even think about ways to make my Ender 3 print even better. Like this direct drive extruder, this heavy, it's a lot heavier than the Bowden uh, setup that was on it. And maybe it could benefit from a dual Z-axis lead screw. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you uh, wanna see any of that content as well. Ender 3 content's kind of all out there anyway, though, but mm, tell me what you think. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Happy printing. I always say happy flying because I'm an FPV pilot, but this is, we're not flying. See ya. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or... Like, just, here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.